All right, everybody, welcome back to another Mr. K tutorial. All right, today I'm going to show you on Potopia.com how to set up your brochure. How to set up a brochure, all right? So here on Potopia, this is very simple. A little bit of math is required. Here on Photopia.com, I go to New Project. Okay, I'm going to name it up here. Brochure Outside. Okay, and then... I'm going to change the dimensions to inches. Click this down arrow, change it to inches. And I want the width to be 11. We're using a standard size paper. And then the height is 8.5. Right? 8.5 by 11. However, the width is the long part. So we want that to be the longer dimension. Right? So that's 11. Width is 11. Height is 8.5. Okay? For this tutorial only, I'm going to change the background to black. You could make yours transparent. That would probably be best. Uh, but I'm making mine black so you can actually see it. Okay. Uh, for your brochure, you're going to need to make two documents like this. So one will be brochure outside. The other one will be brochure inside. All right. And then I hit create. Now, the important thing is I need my rulers. I need to set up some guidelines to help me make this. So I'm going to go to view and then I'm going to go to rulers. Okay. But notice... You know, this is counting in the hundreds, right? Photopia, for some reason, when I say I want my page a certain dimension, 8.5 by 11 inches, it doesn't make the rulers into inches, which is very stupid. So I'm going to come up here and hit edit. I'm going to come down here, hit preferences, ruler units, change it from pixels to inches, and there we go. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a quarter of an inch margin. All right, around all sides. You should quarter of an inch is a standard un, um, you know size amount, so you should be able to get it exactly a quarter of an inch. Now you're gonna have to do a little bit of math here. If this is eight and a half, then I want this to be eight point two five. Takes a little bit of work with the mouse, a little bit of finesse. If this is eleven, then a quarter of an inch from that edge is ten point seven five. All right. So now I have my outside margins. Now I need to divide my page into the three sections. It's a trifold brochure. So uh, the first one is going to be at 3.625. Oh, I got that perfectly. All right. And then the second one is at 7.313. All right. You know what? 31. Nine is good enough for me. Okay. And now lastly, okay, you can see you have your three different sections. Lastly, I need to make margins for the inside of these. Okay. So I'm just going to, I don't have uh, the time to do all this math or the brain to do all this math, to be honest. So I'm just going to eyeball what looks like a quarter of an inch, which if I'm going to be honest, these eyeballs, oh my goodness, those are per those look perfectly like a quarter of an inch. But that's because, you know, I've done this for a while. Uh, so here we go. We have our three sections, right? And we have our margins. Um, and here's the margin around the outside. You do not want any text to go outside that margin. However, you do want your design. I want my background color. I want designs to go in the margin, but not any text. And that's why we set these up, right? Remember with these three lines in the middle, the middle line is the fold line where it would eventually fold. And so this is the margin. So when you're making your design, it'll go from this corner to the middle corner right there. All right. And there you have it.